And the security guards say that sometimes at night when they're walking around, they can hear uh, a cry. They call her the crying woman. Today we are here with Billy in the Philippines and you have been doing video vlogging style for how many years? Steadily here in the Philippines for almost three years. I started about four years ago back in the States and once I moved to the Philippines, I just started vlogging. My main content is just living here, living in the Philippines, uh, adjusting to the Philippines from, from the States and moving here from the Angeles City area. Years ago, everything to do with Angeles City had to do with Red Light District. I said, I'm here and there's more to this area than just the red light district. So that's what I did. I started showing the old Clark Air Force Base, downtown Angeles City, the people, the culture, the food, life here, festivals here, just showing complete different from what was out there before. But yeah, it's mostly my family, where we go, people we see, things we do, vacations, family friendly. Today, we are going to be exploring the most haunted place in all of the Philippines. But first, we gotta take a look at the history on how this hospital has become such a paranormal hotspot. During the Vietnam War, this was the biggest hospital in Southeast Asia that was a US hospital. Completed in 1964, it was the most modern for the time. Many people do not dare come close for fear of the spirits that lurk these grounds. This video was intended for a mature audience only. I could hear in the background what almost sounded like a, a cry, like somebody was crying out. I believe it because there was a lot of pain here. There was a lot of suffering here. You gotta understand during the Vietnam War, this was the main hub for those soldiers that were brought over. I forget how many buses it was per day that they were bringing in here with wounded soldiers being treated. You gotta understand some Vietnam War was vicious. A lot of people, a lot of American soldiers and Vietnamese soldiers uh, died. But yeah, this was the main hub. And when you had that many people coming in, you had that many souls being lost and that much pain, I feel, you know, their, their spirits are here. The United States Air Force Hospital that was here in the Philippines, 1991, when Mount Pinatuba exploded, they evacuated the hospital and the air base here. They closed it down. I think it was up for a new contract, and the United States then decided that they didn't want to renew the lease here and everything like that, so it was pulled out. After the volcano, it just became abandoned. Multiple stories here, if you're into the paranormal, some stories you believe, some stories you don't. One of the stories is after Pinatubo, there was a lot of people just in here squatting. A uh, woman was drug in here, she was raped, she was beaten, her head was crushed with a piece of concrete, she was thrown down one of the elevator shafts, died, you know, her body was just left there. The security guards say that sometimes at night when they're walking around they can hear it uh, cry, they call her the 
crying woman. And that's one of the stories here. But I believe in the supernatural. Feel something. Yeah. When I come here, I do feel like just a heavy burden on my body. I've been here in certain areas, and I just had this weird feeling. Uh, today, at one point, the hairs on my arm were standing up. I don't know. I, I do believe in it. Uh, Ghost Hunters International. Uh, a lot of those ghost hunting shows and stuff. They've done multiple shows in here. Uh, they say it is haunted. It's supposed to be the number one most haunted place here in the Philippines. A lot of people were brought in here. A lot of people died. They have a mental housing unit here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, to me, it's just a cool old hospital. I love history. Um, I, like I said, I like the paranormal end of things. I mean, I can go on. There's a lot of stories. And ghost stories are just kind of like passed down and passed down. Either you believe them or you don't. But yeah, here it is. Nighttime is when it really happens. There's a lot of sharp drops in this building, 10, 12, 13 foot drops in random places. So you have to be really careful when you're here. And there was recently an earthquake here just two months ago in April. It was a bad one, 6.1 magnitude earthquake. And actually, from what I understand, things are a little bit destroyed even more than they were before compared to a couple months ago. There's a lot of fallen objects throughout this hospital, so it's just, you know, it's a little bit dangerous. that one before? No, it's just how the sun shines. Oh. That's crazy. When you flew your drone, it actually lost its power twice as fast. Oh yeah, yeah, real quick. And the batteries are full. They were, you know, they were completely full. Um, I was in here also with a camera one time, I think my GoPro, and uh, like even the battery on that like just went quick. And I knew it was a full battery. Yeah. So, but that's what they say, it draws, the spirits will draw energy. Just now with the gimbal shaking like that much. That's that actually a, a little bit weird. Shake.
noise. That's what they call it, noise. It's like, it's like this. Agreed. just like a rumor. It could have been for something else. What else could it be? Oh, this is awesome. Nothing much in here. could just come down the Yeah, this is This looks like a fire pit right here. Oh. Goes down. Oh no. What would this room be? It almost looks like this is a. I guess it's not a fountain, but it's something else. It's just all. Muddy. See, this was a warehouse. It's a warehouse. This was a warehouse down here. Storing extra supplies and stuff. Yeah. All this was, but the mental housing. 
The metal housing unit for the military soldiers that came back from Vietnam. They would stay here for like three months or something. This looks like a more dangerous area too because it's been more weathered. So this could actually come down. Your sadness in this boat till you feel mine and change as in your body. You feel anything this time? Not really. Huh? Getting like a, the arm hairs are up. So you feel something. Yeah. 